So here we are in the start of week three of likely for you, if you're in central Pennsylvania, being quarantined in your house uh, for the most part, um, unless you have like an essential job uh, that's sending you out to work or um, unless you're in a particular field. Like this is uh, getting real, right? Three weeks. Um, and I think about one of the songs that Curtis did on Sunday in our live stream uh, times like these, uh, it's a Foo Fighters song, and it says, uh, one, of the one of the parts of the song says, it's times like these you learn to live again. It's times like these you learn to give again. It's times like these you learn to love again. And it makes me think about how it is usually in times of uncomfortable circumstance um, that Jesus uh, would lead the disciples into some new knowledge or some new reality, um, some experience that would expand their, their ability to give, their ability to love, their ability to even live the way they were meant to live. And even as we start this third week, I hope that we're finding opportunities to grow in love, to maybe reevaluate the way we're living, um, and maybe even to consider ways that we can give, even in times like these. Uh, I think of one particular story <laughs> where uh, Jesus is trying to break down, at least I believe he's trying to break down, the disciples' um, hatred, even racism, toward the Samaritans. And he goes and visits with a woman at the well. And like there's this side story that happens that we don't talk about that often, but he tells the disciples to go into the town uh, to get food. And we don't really talk about it because it's not really much of a story. Um, but when we reflect on the reality of what he's doing to those disciples, these young men or, or, or older boys, teenagers, maybe even, um, he's telling them with all the, the bias and hatred that they have toward this particular people group that they've been taught about um, to go in and buy food from them, go into the town. And he's not going with them. He's not going to be a shield or protector for them in this particular moment. They need to go. They need to live through this. And in living through this, there's something that is going to grow within them. They're going to have an opportunity to learn to live different, to learn to give in a new way and to learn to love in a new way. Um, so I think for us, as we enter into this third week, uh, this has probably been a stressful time for you. This has probably been a difficult season for you. And for all of us, it's probably been difficult in different ways. But in the midst of that difficulty, in the midst of that being stretched and pushed outside of our comfort zone, how are we continuing to grow in the way we live, in the way we give, and in the way we love? Hopefully you'll find some time to reflect on that today. Peace be with you.